You too. What's up? So, been at work all day. Got some awesome stuff going on. Let me try to put you on to my other screen so I can show you what I've been up to. Okay. So, this is the graphical interface program R. Um, this is some of the code that I've been writing. I've been working with um, with my samples for AIM2. I've been working with doing um, gene expression on my 48 samples. So I had to run it through some things from some, uh, I had to import it. So I remember I was talking about TXI import. Uh, so this was this. So I, I sent a working directory, uh, made a table of, uh, of the sample names, pasted the quants files into that, um, make sure they existed and then imported it with this nifty thing here. Actually, this was, uh, this was mapped to the transcriptome. I then changed it later and mapped it to the genome. Um, let's see, on our DDS, this is a DC2 function um, on my samples. So I did, I was able to produce a heat map, which is really cool. Um, here goes a heat map for my samples. Uh, I was telling my advisor I was able to get this. I don't know exactly what this means yet. Uh, I need to do some more digging into that. But um, it looks pretty. <laughs> and uh, he was on my samples, uh, mature, color restricted, untrained, up uh, to aged, ad lib, untrained, whatever. And then so I started messing with some PCA plots. Now here's the fun part that I like, the PCA plots, right? So I uh, run a PCA plot and that one can't really see what's going on. So everything has this different color, um, mature, color restricted, untrained, mature, color restricted, trained. Uh, within the three different treatments I have. Um, let's see, if we look at just individual variables, let's say like uh, diet, right? And we look at that, we don't see just visually just like this, uh, where it comes out regular, it doesn't look like there's much of a, a difference between the blue and the red, right? We're not seeing the, uh, um, a division of the samples uh, into individual clusters. So it uh, doesn't look like much is happening with diet, just like with the way it showed right there, right? Diet and uh, what was the other one? Treatment, uh, with trained or untrained. Again, we're not seeing much of a division. If we look at age, now we start seeing what looks to be a division. Uh, it looks like the age group uh, down over here more, trained over here, I mean, sorry, mature up here. So. Uh, I wanted to check this more and and draw circles around a lot of people I see have circles around their clusters um, I'm sure it's a statistical thing you can't just draw a circle you know we're not like Donald Trump drawing the path of the hurricane um, but so I found out that what I could do is I can is I can look at this the PCA plots uh, with the particular interest groups uh, for example diet and age and, uh, and just return the data, right? And then, and then I can just plot it. So if I plot it like this in ggplot, I can add this stat ellipse, which will create those ellipses around the, the separate um, uh, clusters. So with die and age, boom. So uh, we see here this big one, it looks like, again, I haven't figured out how to, how to make it a distinct color for each specific variable. Uh, that's going to be done. I'm going to work on that tomorrow. But so far, we see the blues. The blues are for the calorie restricted animals. Uh, these ones are more around the triangles, which are mature. And and then the cir little circles are the um, aged. Between the two blue circles, it doesn't look like there's much of a difference here. Um, within the aged groups, these two overlap pretty significantly it looks like this circle is going deep into this other uh, mature circle um, the aged again the mature aged and the mature um, sorry is that the, no that's the aged ad lib and the age calorie restricted tend to look like they're within each other so it look, doesn't look like much of a distance a difference as well as the mature ad lib and the um, mature calorie restricted they are both circles within each other i don't see much distinction between any of these honestly 
um, maybe between the aged, right, that's age, no, maybe between the mature ad lib, which is this red one, and the um, aged calorie restricted. That might be a difference, but I'm not sure. So we can play around with this a little more, right? Let's change it to uh, age and treatment. And we'll run that, change this color to treatment, boom. Now here we look like we might have some more stuff going on. Uh, let's see, so here goes the circles, blue, so this is the untrained age, as well as the, this looks like the circles, the, uh, the aged trained, so those don't look different. Here goes the aged again. I'm sorry, that's not the age. That's the mature trained, and this looks like it is the mature untrained, and they're still following each other. So those don't look pretty different either. So let's look at age and look at diet with age instead. No, wait, we just looked at diet with age, right? Um, maybe treatment and diet. Let's try that. Change the color of this treatment. Hmm. Anyway, playing around with this. Um, I gotta get. I'm gonna print these out and get them in different uh, areas. As soon as I figure out how to how to change each circle corresponding to each particular treatment, and then then I'm gonna get back on. Um, yeah, figuring out how else to analyze this data. But I thought this was really fun and starting to play around with the data and seeing what I can find difference-wise in the different things. Um, let me try one more thing. Uh, let's look at just age. And let's get rid of this and let's look at just age. I'm gonna add this back so I don't forget to do this later. There we go. If we look at just age again, we see this. There's a lot of overlap, looks like right here. So Anyway, I got I got a surrogate variance analysis to do as well. That's uh something that that accounts for a lot of the um, variation that's left. Probably a lot of these down here we'll get rid of, um, and a couple other analyses to do. I need to look at the PCA two versus three and three versus four and so on, and see where the majority of my variation is coming from in my data. But I'm very excited. Uh, I got. I, I'm. I'm very pleased with my progress I made this today, and um. Yeah. So that's all I got for you today. It's been a pretty decent day for me. I hope it's been a decent day for you. So until next time, peace, love, stay safe on purpose, and uh, we'll touch in tomorrow. Touch base tomorrow. Thanks. Bye.